so after Biden racked up all these endorsements, um, Stacey Abrams, she goes on CNN and she gets asked about the Tara Reid allegations and whether she believes them, her endorsement of Joe Biden. And this is a really horrible clip. Take a look at what she had to say. Assault allegation against Joe Biden. The accuser, her name is Tara Reid, tells CNN that the alleged incident happened in 1993 while she was working as an aide in Biden's Senate office. She is claiming that she was delivering Biden a duffel bag and says that Biden had her up against the wall in a corridor uh, on the Hill and violated her with his fingers. Now, CNN has now, has now spoken on the record with her former neighbor who says Reid told her about the allegation within a few years of the alleged incident. Biden's campaign says, untrue, never happened. Is this a credible allegation? I believe that women deserve to be heard, and I believe that they need to be listened to. But I also believe that those allegations have to be investigated by credible sources. The New York Times did a deep investigation, and they found that the accusation was not credible. I believe Joe Biden. I believe that he is a person who has demonstrated that his love of family, his love of our community has been made perfectly clear through his work as a congressional leader and as an American leader. I know Joe Biden, and I think that he is telling the truth and that this did not happen. So in, in 2018, you tweeted it was shameful that Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination was being rushed forward and survivors of violence like Christine Blasey Ford deserve to have their voices heard. Are you applying a different standard now? Not at all. I believe then and I believe now that women deserve to be heard because too often they are not. And Tara Reid deserved to have her story listened to and investigated. What was happening to Christine Blasey Ford was that there was no investigation. There was a rush to move the conversation forward so that no investigation was conducted. And as I said, I believe that there was those allegations needed to be investigated. And I believe that the New York Times and subsequent reports support what the Biden campaign has said. And so, I believe Joe Biden. So you said you've heard her. You've heard enough. You don't believe her. You believe Joe Biden. No, I, what I'm saying is that the New York Times investigation of her allegations, the New York Times investigation does not support the accusations against the vice president. I believe the Biden I know, and I think that he will make women proud, that he will make America proud. Does Joe Biden personally need to address this more directly and publicly? I believe his campaign has been very clear, and I believe that that is the approach that they intend to take. And I support the approach because, again, we don't want women to ever be afraid to come forward. But we also have to recognize that allegations should be investigated and that those investigations need to be borne out. Stacey Abrams, thank you for your time. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. That was shameful from, from Stacey Abrams. Okay, she's tiptoeing around the issue and contradicting herself over and over what is this nonsense that the New York Times concluded that Joe Biden is innocent? No, they didn't. Also, who, who the fuck are the New York Times? They're a mainstream media news outlet. They work for you. They do what you tell them to. They sold the Iraq war. And then they came back and said, like, oh yeah, we would, I guess we didn't investigate things as scrupulously as we usually do. And we weren't that careful. And yet we're sorry we killed a million Iraqis. Our bad. You trust that institution? No, 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 no. If there's going to be an investigation, that should be handled by, you know, law enforcement, FBI. God damn it. Get the police squad. Get Leslie Nielsen to do the goddamn investigation. Okay? Not a news outlet that works for you. We all know the New York Times and all of these mainstream media, corporate news media, are an arm of the DNC. And they didn't even conclude that he's innocent. He tries to call her out how... She was very vocal during the Kavanaugh hearings, right? So they wanted to appoint him to the Supreme Court. And all the Democrats, they raised hell, rightfully so, because of an allegation. And, and now, when it comes to Joe Biden, because he's a Democrat, oh no, we, we protect him. They do a complete 180, right? Oh, all of a sudden, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Women deserve to be heard, but we're not going to listen to Tara Reid. No. Sorry, sorry, the New York Times decided that Biden is innocent. Sorry. It's the way it is. It's the way it is. But, but we believe women. And, and, you know, we respect women. But, but Biden, Biden is okay. Biden is fine. What? We know why she's saying this. We know why she's doing this. Okay, so it's been reported for a while now that Stacey Abrams might be a VP pick for Joe Biden. Some people say 
uh, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar. Very likely could be Stacey Abrams. So, of course, she's playing ball. Of course, she would defend Joe Biden. She wants to be his vice president. And moreover, she's repeating the talking points that the campaign gave her. So it got leaked in, in BuzzFeed that the Joe Biden campaign, they've been circulating these talking points on what to say when this topic is brought up. So they're very, they're very conscious of the fact that this allegation is in the mainstream now. They're very conscious of the terror read allegation. But they won't address it. To this day, no one has asked Joe Biden directly about it. Joe Biden hasn't been asked once. This is scandalous. This guy is running for the Oval Office. He's running for president. And, and there's a serious sexual assault allegation. No one asks him about it. What the hell is going on here? They even ask Bernie Sanders. They even ask AOC. They're asking Stacey Abrams, but not Joe Biden. Everyone has been asked about it except the guy who's implicated in it. What? You call that journalism? You call yourselves fucking journalists? You call that being objective? You call that being transparent? Why is it there are fucking jagoffs in their bedrooms doing better jobs than you? You're fucking pathetic. You're nothing but mouthpieces for the establishment. It's fucking lapdogs. Just sitting there doing what the fucking program directors tell you to do. You fucking lapdogs. You are so pathetic. I don't want you to ask Stacey Abrams. I want you to ask Joe fucking Biden about it. Why aren't you bringing on Tara Reid? Why is Fox News asking Tara Reid on, but CNN and MSNBC won't? She, she denied a couple of their requests because, of course, if she goes on there, then the Democrats will use that to discredit her because, oh my God, dare, dare, you, dare you go on the most watched network in the country to talk to the electorate? Dare you do that? You know, when Bernie Sanders goes on there, oh! So she denied those requests and you won't bring her on. Could there be a bias here, right? And that shit when they deleted the episode? My goodness. That... That is some real 1984 bullshit. They, they just fucking wipe, wiped it off the face of the planet. We can still see it on the internet, but you know, in, in the future, anybody going to look back at the catalog is not going to find it. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Just in plain sight. Yep, it's, it's not there. Not, oh, we're going to fix that. We're going to re-upload it. We apologize for this gross incompetence and negligence. No, nothing. Not a word. It's just gone. Big Brother is watching. Unfucking believable That's some really scary shit. But what do you expect, man? What do you, what do you expect from smear merchants? What do you expect from propagandists? I mean, really think about this for a second. These motherfucking assholes are paid millions of dollars to sit there in their nice little suits and tell you to go and kill people on the other side of the fucking planet so corporations can make money. Of course they would lie to defend Joe Biden. Of course they would lie about anything. Of course. They will always cover for the establishment. War criminals. They, they sell you war. They sell you oppression. Abroad and domestically. Fuck them. Fuck them. They have, they have no integrity. Nothing. Like I said, she's repeating these talking points that the Biden campaign have circulated. Take a look at them. This came out of BuzzFeed, right? They broke the story. The New York Times did weeks of extensive investigative research talking to nearly two dozen former Biden staff from the 1990s, including those who worked directly with Ms. Reid. Here is what they found, quote, No other allegation about sexual assault surfaced in the course of reporting, nor did any former Biden staff members corroborate any details of Ms. Reid's allegation. And remember how they changed, they altered this, this sentence? This is not the original sentence. The Biden campaign made them change it. The Times found no pattern of sexual misconduct by Mr. Biden. And the, the, original, the original line said, we found no pattern of sexual misconduct by Biden beyond hugs, kisses, and touching that women previously said made them uncomfortable. Yeah, that's sexual misconduct. What a contradiction. And it made Biden look bad, so they changed it, right? So that's, that's obviously a lie right there, <laughs> that they found, they found nothing. All four people, Ms. Reed says, were notified of an official complaint, told the New York Times on the record that they have absolutely no recollection of any such conversation. I don't believe this, because... Those people could have been pressured to say that, right? Um, they could be colluding with, with Biden because obviously they did nothing about her complaint. And you have all of these files at the University of Delaware that Biden is conveniently sealing until two years after he retires from public life, meaning who knows when. If he's innocent, why doesn't he just you know, show what's in there? Why doesn't he reveal the complaint? 
And this means nothing that, you know, people who work for Biden, who would obviously be there to protect him, they're in place to protect him, would lie again. Yeah, no shit. What is it? It doesn't mean anything. I mean, it could be either way. Maybe it's true. Maybe it isn't. But it doesn't definitively say that Biden is innocent, which is what the Biden campaign wants you to believe. It doesn't say that. Biden has been a fierce advocate for women authoring and fighting to pass the Violence Against Women Act. No. The only reason that he passed the, the Violence Against Women Act was so he could get the crime bill passed, right? To make a lot of money for the prison industrial complex and ruin the lives of millions and millions of blacks and Latinos. That's what it was about, right? They stuff it in there, in the bill, to pressure others into voting for it. On top of it, what Biden has also done is, is touch dozens of women inappropriately on camera. What that suddenly means, nothing? And get out of here. She repeated every single talking point, all of them. She said everything, Stacey Abrams. So in conclusion, man, they are all a bunch of sellouts. Look how they all fall in line. They just can't help it. What does AOC do? Oh yeah, women deserve to be heard. That's it. She doesn't call out Biden. She doesn't say anything. Nothing. Bernie Sanders, same thing, you know, kind of softballs it, and then he doesn't really answer the question. Stacey Abrams, Kirsten Gillibrand, all of them falling in line behind Joe Biden, the rapist. As, as, if, as if everything he did before that was also okay. I mean, this is, this is madness. They all fall in line, man. At the end of the day, they follow the party. They protect each other. Class solidarity, party allegiance, not to you, not to you. They don't serve you. Mm -mm. When it's crunch time, when it really matters, they won't step out of line for nothing. Not the stimulus package, not uh, a rape allegation, nothing. This is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable. We, we have clear proof of these people singing a completely different tune. And this is even worse than Kavanaugh. I mean, Kavanaugh's going to the Supreme Court. This guy's going to the fucking Oval Office, the Oval Office. And you're covering for him. Shame on you, man. Come on. New York Times article is garbage. It doesn't say that Joe Biden is innocent. It doesn't prove that at all. I think, matter of fact, it made the case even more for Tara Reid because it said in the New York Times article that she was retaliated against, right? All of a sudden, she wasn't supervising those two interns. That, that just builds the case even more in her favor. So every time we have evidence coming out, it just further corroborates the story that Joe Biden did actually assault her, not the opposite, not the other way around. And all these politicians covering for Biden can go to hell. They're a bunch of hacks, man. Every single one of them. Just forget it. Got no avenue with them. They got no spine. They got no backbone. I don't care. I posted a tweet about this. I said, you see the Democrats doing a 180 on sexual assault just to cover for Biden? This is exactly how America looks lecturing other countries on human rights. It's true, man. It's true. As soon as they're caught torturing people in Abu Ghraib. As soon as they're caught uh, helping Israel commit war crimes against Palestinians. As soon as they're invading Iraq. As soon as they're destroying Libya. As soon as they're funding terrorists in, in Syria. As soon as they're funding genocide in Yemen, helping Saudi Arabia. Uh, but we turn a blind eye. We do no wrong. But watch out. If you commit human rights violations, Uncle Sam is coming after you. But we never commit them. We never do that. No, 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 no. We're perfect. That same double standard, that same bullshit 